Hey everybody, Kanan Ra here. Um, did some butchering of some rabbits today, so I thought I'd show you guys how to how I cut them up. I've had a few people ask me that on my videos, so. Um, well, what I normally, what you gotta do first, you know, is is get all the fat off. Um, this rabbit here was the one that I was free ranging in the yard, and so the fat is, is really minimal on this rabbit. Um, some of the ones that I was, um, pen raising with the normally stuff will just tear right off you might need to cut it off rabbit fat's not not like uh, chicken fat it doesn't doesn't really add a good flavor to the meat kinda so you just want to get it off of there alright now that's done um, and then what I normally do is I will uh, I will find the last rib right here and I'll just cut right through um, and I, I usually like if sometimes I'll just grill the whole back half in one piece and I, I call it a saddle I don't know if there's an actual name for it or not but that's what I call it the back saddle so I'll find that last rib and I'll just cut right through this the stomach here and into the right up that last rib uh, up to the spine and then flip it over and, and do it again on the other side and then it's pretty much all the way through you just have to break the spine and then cut through anything that's still connected Kind of, kind of ends up looking like a, like a big large frog. <laughs> anyway, so you put that uh, front half over here for now, uh, and then on the back here, I just there's a ridge right down the spine. You can feel it with your finger. So I just cut on one side of that and cut all the way in, and then I'll flip it over and I'll, you can you can see the muscle or the hip where it uh, where it joins. And I just carve that out and then you get um, basically just looks like a, a rabbit or a chicken thigh but it's a rabbit thigh so same kind of thing and then I just do it again on the other side you can just cut right up the spine here um, and then right in here you just follow that hip bone and it, there you go and I got two big meaty rabbit thighs now on here this is a little trickier this is uh, to get the loins off of here the, the, the vertebrae of a rabbit is kind of shaped like a star there's like multiple points on it um, so what you want to do is you want to cut down that same ridge you feel that ridge you just go to one side of it and, and cut into to your hip bone all the way down um, and then you, it'll kind of expose another ridge of bone and you I don't know if it's going to show up on this camera but you can see these little points here so those are more bones so you just again you just put your knife on one side of it and cut back towards the spine again all the way down to the bone and it's see it's starting to expose this uh, this loin off of there uh, and then there's another set uh, another set of ribs or short you know little tiny ribs so you want to like what I do is I put the knife in there and I just kind of scrape it back towards and then that starts to expose those rib bones and I just kind of keep doing that until those are till I expose the end of those and now you can see through them a little bit so and then I flip it over until I can find the tips of those I can't quite. There they are. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera or not. But again, I would just cut back towards the spine. I've got one in here. Oh, that's the last rib. I missed a rib on that when I cut it off of the spine there. All right. So now see, see, there's like one, two, three point <laughs> sets of points. Uh, and then I'm down in here and I just do the same thing I did before I just cut back 
until it uh, until it comes comes loose. And that is a big piece of loin. And what this is, if you notice, I left that stomach muscles, the abdomen muscle on there. And what I do is I don't really eat that. What I do is I use it to get the silver skin off the back. So wherever that meets up with that uh, that loin, I just start pulling and, and just slightly slice down that loin and it pulls that silver skin right off of there. There, so now my got all the silver skin off of that that loin, and then I would just do the same thing to the other side. And this is the inner loin, like the tenderloin, and it's really good. This my wife, this is my wife's favorite piece. I usually get the front legs and a back thigh. My wife gets these. So, <laughs> and then you just do the same thing with the other side. And I won't show that on the video because it's just the same. But I will show you how to how I do the the front shoulders. And basically, you just you just pull up on it and then I just slice and get all that meat with that front shoulder and they don't seem like they have a lot of meat on them but they they do it's a good amount of meat it's it's more than like a chicken wing so you can see it's a good amount of meat and there's two of those obviously so I cut that uh, come on it's a lot harder to do on camera I'm trying to keep it down towards the table so there you go now you got two front legs two back legs and then the, the two loins and then on here um, there is a good amount of meat still left on uh, on the sp the back muscles, so I get rid of all this stuff because I'm not going to use that. I give that to the dogs, all the scrap pieces. But as you can see, this this meat here is really good. It's just it's really small, but I like to get it as much off of there as I can. So, and you you can see the ribs, so you just can kind of. Cut right up the ribs and just let the ribs guide you all the way up to the spine. And then this one's a lot easier because the spine doesn't, or the vertebrae don't have all those points all the way up here. So you just cut right down to the spine, angling it towards the spine until these two cuts meet up. And go, I go all the way up to the neck if I can there's still a lot of meat on the neck itself there you go and that's a nice pretty good sized piece of meat it's not the biggest but it, it's worth uh, worth the effort to get it off of there so all right so once you do that on the other side of the shoulder um, what you end up with is the two back legs the two front legs the I call them the shoulders, um, the two back loins, and then the two inner loins, uh, tender loins. They're they're usually attached to this, but I just cut them loose that way. They're they're really small, but they're really tasty piece of meat, so I like to keep them. Um, and then that will uh, that'll be a whole rabbit. All right, uh, talk to you guys later.